Today we're going to put two multi-tools head to head to see which of their replaceable cutters fails first on the Leatherman Rebar or Gerber MP600. Well, that's right, we have a cutting test. The reason that I want to do this is because over the years, I've reviewed a lot of multi-tools from Gerber, from Leatherman, and other companies as well. And Gerber and Leatherman both have their own style of replaceable teeth that they've upgraded to in recent years. And I've heard people say different things about different models, that some are more precise, some are stronger. And I just want a data point for myself and for us here at the channel as we continue to review multi-tools in years to come. Now, just to be clear, this is just a data point for us. I'm not in a lab. I'm not going to be doing, you know, measuring PSI before each, you know, uh, uh, tooth breaks or whatever. This is just a simple test with a couple different nails. We're going to do cable, both coated and uncoated, and uh, just see which one can hold up to more abuse and which one is going to fail first. So that's what we're going to look at today. Now, a couple things to note as we jump into this is first off that the reason I picked the MP600 and the rebar is that they are almost identical in size and dimensions and in arm length, the arm length, so that I'm going to have similar pressure on both of these multi-tools and so they're very similar in size and capability. The next thing that I want to hit on as well are the teeth themselves. Now the Leatherman is going to have a pair of stainless steel cutters and the Gerber is going to be using tungsten carbide cutters. So they are different materials. The way the Leatherman is set up is that if they are damaged or broken, you have to unscrew them and replace them. The way that the Gerber is set up is that if they're damaged, you can actually unscrew them and rotate them, and you can actually get three sets uh, or three damages, if you will, out of them before they have worn out their usefulness. But if they break, they break just like the Leatherman does. So again, we're going to put these head to head. Let's go ahead and get to it, start cutting some stuff and see which one is going to hold up better and which one just gives cleaner cuts. Okay, no, All right, going to start with a simple nail here that you hang a yeah. picture frame on. I uh, busted out the Leatherman on that first a decent amount of pressure, pop that thing right off and uh, then continued Good. with the Gerber and saw similar results, about the same amount of pressure, was able to break the nail and cut the nail uh, with the same amount of pressure. So very similar results with that first um, cut. Yes. Still All right, fun. next up we did a 100 pound rated cable that is coated in plastic. I um, stripped the plastic off for the first cuts that we're gonna see here and definitely had to do some rocking back and forth uh, with the Leatherman but definitely gnarlier uh, cut with the Gerber and had to kind of reset and uh, was not as happy with the cuts that I was getting with the Gerber as I was with the Leatherman on this exposed cable without the, the coating over it, without the sheath over it. Yikes. Just reference points for me while I'm filming. Ugh, gnarly, all right. Leatherman is doing better with precision. And then I cut them each with the sheath or the coating, the plastic coating over it. And uh, they both seem to do a little bit better and the Gerber seem to perform a little bit better and the Leatherman seem to perform a little bit better. Then we did some uh, 14 gauge galvanized steel um, wire that both uh, the, Ger the Leatherman, excuse me, and the Gerber um, performed fine with. Just cut those easily, clean cuts uh, without too much pressure. So I do want to break off here for just a moment. So far we've seen that both of these are holding up and we're seeing the differences in their precision and things like that. But now we're about to see which one is going to fail here in just a moment first and which one's going to hold up longer. But before we do that, I just want to not only remind you guys that you can replace these teeth. So if you ever damage teeth on your multi-tools that have these, obviously you can replace them. Uh, they both are around the same price point, between $10 and $15, just depends on where you pick them up. I'm going to have links in the description below over to Amazon as well as Blade HQ, not only for the teeth or the cutters to be replaced, but also for a lot of my favorite multi-tools in general. So we re really appreciate it when you guys use those hyperlinks below. It takes you over there. You can purchase whatever you want. It helps us continue to make content here and do videos just like this, buy gear just like this, so that we can have good data points for both you and me in our future purchases. So I really appreciate that. And I also want to remind you really quickly about our Knockaround Sunglass affiliate link. 
great sunglasses for the whole family, kids, adults, everywhere in between. They have a custom store. It's fantastic. As well as backcountry.com. There's a lot of gear out there that you not, can't always find on Amazon that backcountry.com will either carry or sometimes have better prices even than Amazon does. So we really appreciate it when you guys use all the hyperlinks that you can find in the description below. And so with that, let's get back to it and see which one's going to stand the test. All right, so here we go at it. Much heavier duty nails that we're about to test out yes. here and obviously going with the Leatherman first. And uh, as you can hear, I mean, it took a lot, a lot of effort. Okay. Then it was time for the Gerber. And uh, as you are seeing here, uh, it was basically, a, Oh, next, next to impossible. I, I literally did have to put my own second pressure on it, twist to get it to break. And the final results are... I don't want to work. Not working so far. Let's take it down a little bit and go somewhere else on it. Okay, here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, that one just broke, cracked on this guy right here. Oh, this one did not. Down. This one did not. But we do have a crack right there on that guy. All right, so we've just hopped inside here. Just want to show you guys taking them off. You can see one uh, tooth. That's one of these Gerber uh, cutters. Just completely disintegrated when I unscrewed it. Just shattered. Completely fell apart. They're the new ones. This one is the other one that doesn't really seem to be showing too much damage or wear at all. So um, up to that bigger nail that we cut, it was doing f fine in the sense of damage and wear. Then just wanted to show you the Leatherman. I don't know how well it's gonna show up here, but uh, this lower tooth, l lower cutter, it has just a little bit of a roll right there near the joint and that's it there's no other damage so this definitely has a, a lot of life left on it even after going through two nails i only went through uh, or i i did do two with the gerber as well but um this would definitely handle i would say maybe five to ten more before i would start to see some real damage on the cutters for the leatherman going through those nails that we tested that shattered the tooth on the gerber well, there you have it, folks. New batch of teeth on the M&P 600 and still the original, and I'm not planning on replacing the original on the Leatherman. It's a pretty simple data point. We've seen how they function. And if you were to ask me which one is tougher, obviously it's the Leatherman. Uh, the Gerber, basically, I didn't see any better precision. And even in some cases, it was slightly less with the cable than I was expecting. Um, and so I would say that the Gerber can still hold its own in light and medium duty tasks, but if you're gonna really start cranking on this thing, you don't know what you're gonna expect, uh, and you might be coming up against some really thick uh, wire, either heavy gauge, maybe a chain link fence of some kind that's you know not a full on chain link, um, then the, Ger or the Gerber it has the possibility of possibly breaking, the Leatherman has more of a possibility of standing up to the harder abuse as we have seen in this video. And again, this is just my data point for me to have a reference point and for you guys to see in concept which one is stronger and which one's going to have more capability for the things that you are looking for and what your expectations are on your multi-tools. I hope that this video has just been informative, fun, entertaining, and giving you that data point for your purchasing decisions in the future. As always, guys, thank you so much for coming over here today and checking out the channel. Please subscribe if you're not a current subscriber. We're throwing up videos all the time. Check out that next video popping up in the subscription button. Uh, and check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media as well. If you're a current subscriber and you haven't hit that bell icon next to the subscription button, make sure you hit that so that every video will show up in your news feed because we are cranking out those videos every single week. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.